one stages one leptotene jagotene and parking team so i recall that we made a synopsis in a leptotene process for example 2n equals to 4 a diploid chromosome is taken as example in a interface at the end of leptotene stage all homologous paternal chromosomes and maternal chromosomes are situated at a particular point which seems to be just like that the flowers arrangement in a bouquet hence it is called as a bouquette stage later what happened between this homologous paternal and maternal paternal and maternal chromosomes in between them attraction forces are develops now they forms as a bivalent now the pairing process is called as a synapsis process if you observe the uh, bivalent in each bivalent how many chromosomes are present two chromosomes are present one is paternal another one is uh, maternal chromosomes now if you observe here there will be the presence of every chromosome is consisted with the two chromatids hence in a bivalent how many chromatids are present four chromatids are present in a one bivalent for example here 2n is equals to 4 is present now the number of the bivalents is 2 now the number of the two chromatids is 8 that is earlier explanation when we come back to parkinson stage okay there is exchange of chromosomal material in between these non sistered chromatids during in this process okay now a portion of that maternal chromosome is cut paternal chromosome is cut towards that paternal chromosome maternal chromosome is attached towards that paternal chromosome maternal chromosome paternal chromosome is attached now the process is called as crossing over process now it is responsible for the origin of the species it shows more genetic recombination okay so that is our earlier class when come back to the next stage diploidine stage in the diploidine stage what happen means slowly these in between these homologous chromosomes means in between the bivalents repulsions will be takes place means their attraction forces will be slowly decrease slowly decrease so what is the characteristic of diploidine process means is stopped repulsion is started when repulsion is started here almost all you can observe the chromosomes are here highly condensed as well as they will become which one means very shorten in nature they are very very shorten in nature as well as there are condensed one means condensed one means it will become very very sharp so you have to be remember here i recall the concept of zygote look at here this is the zygote process what happened in the zygote process the pairing of homologous chromosomes will be takes place now here i am showing that the pairing this pairing is called as procentric pairing of course these are the non sistered chromatids now you think so in the parkinson stage they are exchanged their genetic material now for example now the red chart is a maternal now the black chart is for example paternal i already told where that uh, pairing of chromosomes is there with the help of which one uh, special kind of proteins uh, now the pairing will be ha 
happened. This pairing will be takes place in the presence of synaptimal complex is a protein which is responsible for the pairing of chromosomes. What happened? So here crossing over processes takes place in between the non-sistered chromatids. But here both these are paired. Now they will become unpaired. Slowly what happened? These. Who are this one? Synoptimal complexes. Slowly they are dissolved. At that moment what happened? Both the homologous paternal chromosomes and maternal chromosomes they will become which one know highly pulling in nature. Repulsion. So, when the repulsion is takes place, here and here they are separated. But where they are exchanged their chromosomal material, on that place, both are in which state? Union in state. Remaining this area is free. But here they are fused. So, repulsion is started. Now, the chromosome size will become shortened and condensed as well as synoptimal complexes are dissolved. But that homologous paternal chromosomes and maternal chromosomes still both are attached at a particular point. Now the point is nothing but seems to be X-shaped after the board. It seems to be X-shaped structure. This X-shaped structure is called as chiasmata. One more question. Chiasmata means when homologous paternal and maternal chromosomes which are exchanged in between the non-sistered chromatids during in a diplotin process when synoptimal complexes are dissolved both the two chromosomes are still are attached by the X-shaped structure that the X-shaped structure is called as which one chiasmata. So, this is the chiasmata, means in the diplotin stage, what happened? How much of a period is it take here? Rest means that is according to the species. But what happened here? I am very clearly showing. That is the paternal chromosome. This is the maternal chromosome. X shaped structures. This is the diagram for the diplotin. In diplotin, what is the characteristic? Majorly repulsion. Both they are adjoining by means of chiasmata. This diplotin stage it is for a duration of this period in uh, some vertebrates. From months together, some two years together. So during that process, what happened? This chromosomal area will be condensed. Now they form big giant chromosomes. They are called as lamp brush chromosomes. Lamp brush chromosomes will be formed. We will get more details about this one later on. In which we will discuss how they are formed. Remember, lamp brush chromosomes will be formed for the long standing duration of the diplotin stage. That is the thing. Next, after this one, what is that uh, next stage? The next stage is uh, diakinesis process. The next stage is uh, diakinesis process. What happened in this diakinesis process? In the diakinesis process, okay, here nuclear membrane nucleolus is present in earlier four substages. In the diakinesis process, nucleolus that is disappears. The nucleolus is disappear. It's gone. Next, 
the nuclear membrane the nuclear membrane the nuclear membrane it is dissolved nuclear membrane is dissolved so last one what happened in between them more repulsion forces will be takes place in the diagenesis process listen carefully homologous paternal chromosome homologous maternal chromosome in the diploting stage they formed a x shaped structure this is a chiasma it is a diploting stage in diagenesis process just imagine where the x shaped structure is present almost all it is in center when repulsion is it takes place when repulsion is it takes place slowly these chiasma it moves from center to away and reach it to the terminal portion reach it to the terminal portion that is the displacement of chiasma from center to terminal region the process is called as terminalization terminalization the process is called as terminalization process look at here this is the diploting diagram this is the x shaped structure what is the diagram in the diagenesis earlier the x shaped structure it is present in the center when the repulsion is more what happened look at here this is the paternal chromosome already in packaging stage towards the paternal chromosome who is attached to maternal chromosome is attached towards the maternal chromosome who is already attached to paternal chromosome is attached now this is the diagram of which one has but has but earlier it is present the diagenesis stage what is the difference when are in diploting the chiasma position is in the center now it is uh, takes the moment from center to which one uh, terminal region now the process is called as uh, terminalization now here nucleolus is disappear nuclear membrane is uh, dissolved now all is a paternal and maternal chromosomes are present in the nucleoplasm and cytoplasm present in the cytoplasm why because means nuclear membrane is dissolved na so come on tell me here how many chromosomes are present in this leptotin stage to n is equals to 4 next in the zygotin stage also phase come on tell me we were discussed in the mitosis process what happened in mitosis prophase okay this is the prophase interphase in prophase chromatin is converted into chromosomes nuclear membrane is dissolved nucleolus is disappear that is the mitosis prophase but whereas in the meiosis prophase one lengthy explanation is there that's why it is a very long period crucial period complex period so at last finally that interphase chromosome in prophase one is converted into chromosomes nuclear membrane dissolved nucleolus is this appears so that is the completion of two means prophase 1 next what happened after prophase 1 next what we have to be discuss here means metaphase 1 what happened in the metaphase of mitosis we discussed it. look at here 
we are talking about the is mitosis process in the metastasis stage what happened all the chromosomes are brought up into the center region of the equatorial plate spindle fibers so with help of the spindle fibers okay with the help of the spindle fibers this is the chromosome spindle fibers how many chromosomes are there four chromosomes are there these four chromosomes look at here first i am going to sketch a paternal chromosome Paternal chromosome. This is non-sistered, sorry, sistered chromatid. This is the another chromatid. Now the another chromatid is consistent with whole paternal one. Okay, diagrams are important here. This is the paternal chromosomes. Exactly opposite maternal chromosomes is present. If you observe that maternal chromosomes, these two are here, which one? Sister chromatid. Observe that board. This is the area chromatid. Further, it is more towards the paternal chromosome who is attached to maternal. Towards that paternal who is attached to maternal. Here also, up to this condition, how many chromosomes? Twin is equal to four. So, what is the characteristic of metaphase one? In the metaphase one, with the help of the spindle fibers, all the chromosomes are brought up into the center region of the equatorial plate. It is one metallic metachromosome, one metaphase chromosome, metallic plate. It is the second one. Two metallic plates we are observing in the meta phase. Up to this one, how many is there? Two n is equals to four. Now be concentrated. Now the common is very important one. That is which stage means anaphase one. Anaphase one. What is the difference between the metaphase one of meiosis and the metaphase of mitosis? In metaphase of mitosis, what happened? Uh, okay, means especially we will uh, discuss here in the anaphase. In the anaphase, what happened? Chromosomal number reduced to half here. In anaphase one, what happened, my? Chromosomal number reduced to half. Now this is the metaphase one stage. Metaphase one. Paternal chromosomes, maternal chromosomes means chiasmata is present on their terminal regions. This is the position. Look at it. Next, what happened in anaphase one? Okay. Their telomeric ends are breaks. Here, centromere is not divided. Centromere is not divided. Stop competitive bit. In anaphase 1, centromere is not divided. What happened? Their telomeric ends are breaks. Now, what is the chromosomal status here? 2n is equal to 10, for example. Now, here, what happened? There will be telomeric end will be break. Break, 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 break. Move towards the opposite pole. 2n will become here 10, n will become 5, n will become 5. Means chromosomal number reduced to This is the major process. Earlierly they are junctioned. When the telomeric ends are breaks, now they are which one? Disjunction. Or otherwise they are separated from each other. They are nothing but which one means segregation. They are nothing but which one segregation. So, what points you have to be remember in anaphase? Look at the board. These are the telomeric ends. These telomeric ends will be breakdown. 
Now the chromosomes are pulled towards the opposite poles. Now these are the upper two chromosomes. This is the paternal chromosome. Okay. Now the lower one is pulled towards the opposite one. Okay. Towards that, uh, for example, paternal chromosome. Who is attached? Maternal chromosome is attached. Towards that maternal chromosome, who already attached? Uh. So, in anaphase, in anaphase, what happened? We will recall the mitosis anaphase. Look at here. Here I am going to be explaining mitosis anaphase. In mitosis anaphase, what happened, ma? So, earlier the stage is uh, every chromosome is having two chromatids. I already told. When anaphase is, takes place, this spindle fiber is contracting in nature. That's why the centromere is divided. So, now the chromosomes are moved towards the opposite pole. Every chromosome is having how many chromatids? One chromatid. Whereas in the anaphase 1, first point, in anaphase 1, centromere is not divided. Remember, for Sunday examination also it may be come. Centromere is not divided. What happened during in this process? They telomeric ends are break. Their telomeric ends are break in this stage. After that, the telomeric ends are breaks. Now, observe what happened. If you observe, every chromosome, every one chromosome is having how many chromatids? Two chromatids. How many chromatids? Two chromatids. Now here, Obviously, you are deployed in the state. You are one daughter chromosome set. You are another daughter chromosome set. Now, N is equal to here in upper side, two chromosomes. In the lower side also, N is equal to two. Whereas in meiosis one, in meiosis one, in anaphase one, the chromosomal number reduced to half. Hence, the anaphase is otherwise called as a reduction phase. Identify the reduction phase in the meiosis process. What is the answer? Anaphase. Identified where the chromosomal number reduced to half. The answer is anaphase. Identify that chromosomes which are disjunction. Disjunction means earlier we were all friends. We were pair, 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 pair. But whereas here what happened when their telomeric ends are breaks, now you are moved towards the opposite poles. So here it is paternal chromosome. But the paternal chromosome who are already attached? Maternal chromosome character. Towards the maternal chromosome who is attached? Paternal chromosome. So vice versa, both characters are present in these chromosomes. Now anaphase 1 is completed. So in anaphase 1, centromere is not divided. Their telomeric ends are breaks. Now the chromosomes are subject to our disjunction. Now they are moved towards opposite poles after this disjunction. Hence, the process is called also as segregation. Segregation. This is the major stage where the number of the chromosomal number reduced to half. So, that is about which one ma? Anaphase 1. Next one is telophase 1. Telophase 1. In telophase 1, what happened? 
Here we are having two set of chromosomes. Two genomes are present. Genome means haploid set of chromosomes. This is the upper set, this is the lower set. What are the number of chromosomes is present? That is the difference. According to some, we are discussing. What is the characteristic of telophase? Reverse to whom? Prophase. What happened in prophase? Tell me. In prophase. Okay, this is the interface. What happened in the prophase? This chromatin is converted into chromosomes. Nuclear membrane is disappear. Nucleolus is nucleolus is disappear. Nuclear membrane is disappear. Next, whereas in the telophase, what happened after completion of these anaphase? Okay, now this is one daughter chromosome set, this is one daughter chromosome set. Observe that board all of you. I am taking that upper n is equal to two chromosomes. This is converted into chromatin and reformation of nucleolus and nuclear membrane. This is the another set of each one, lower set. Here also that the chromosomes are converted into chromatin, nucleolus and nuclear membrane. So, here still some spindle fibers are present. After completion of the titular phase 1, come on tell me how many cells are present here? One cell. How many nucleus is present? Two nucleus. Okay, now here, after that, which will be happened, the division of cytoplasm, it is the first one, hence it is called as cytokinesis 1. In the cytokinesis process, look at here, this is, what is this one, one nucleus, this is another nucleus, now, here spindle fibers are present, they are remaining, remnant, remnant means 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, they are accumulated. Now, they form uh, a beer shaped structure, this beer shaped structure is called as phragmoplast, it is also important bit, phragmoplast means the remaining spindle fibers are accumulated and forms a barrel shaped structure that is called as a phragmoplast. Later on one of the cell organelles, we were already explained, the cell organelle is Golgi complex. That too in Golgi complex, the Golgi vesicles secreted some chemical substances. Now this is a liquid cell plate. Further, this plate is growing from center to away. This is called as a cell plate method. Now, in between the two cells, middle lamellum is present. Further, it is studded with calcium and magnesium pectins. So, here, the amount of this chromatin is equals to n equals to 2, n equals to so that is about the process. What is the process? What is the process, ma? Meiosis one is now completed. I recall the concept within the two minutes. Be concentrated. In meiosis one, the longest phase is prophase one, which is very complex and complicated process. After interface, when in S phase, chromosomal number will become double, then the cell will be entered into the meiosis process. All the homologous paternal chromosomes and maternal chromosomes are at one point. The stage is called as lepto. After that, homologous paternal and maternal chromosomes, which are formed as pairs. That is called as a synopsis process in a J protein. Later on, there is a change of chromosomal material in between that non sistered chromatids. The process which is completed is a crossing over. 
it is the root cause for the formation of the genetic recombinations and origin of different species. After that, what happened? Quarrying, pulling, repulsion will be takes place in between them. Here the chromosome size is very short ended and condensed and clearly visible. Now the stage is uh, diprotein. So here the, in the diprotein stage where the structures are crossed, they form an X shaped structure that is called chiasma. Ah. Next, whereas in the diakinesis, the last subphase on the prophase 1, it is indicates that the prophase 1 the last stage. Next, it is a transition to which one the metaphase. Nucleolus is disappears, nuclear membrane is dissolved. All the chromosomes means the casmata earlier, which is present in the center, it moved towards the terminal places. Now the process is called terminalization happened in the diakinesis process. Later on in the metaphase one, with the help of the spindle fibers, all the homologous paternal and maternal chromosomes are present in the central region of the equatorial plane. What point we have to be remember here? A set of paternal chromosomes which is present at percent, they are having little amount of maternal chromosomes. Why because means here already which is over crossing over is happening. A set of that um, paternal chromosome is present, they are attached by the Metronome. Next, in anaphase 1, what point you have to be remember? Centromere is not here. Their telomeric ends will be breaks. Now that the chromosomes are moved towards the opposite point. Every chromosome is also here to chromatin. Now it is formed as a daughter chromosomes. Now earlier they are junctioned here when telomeric ends are breaks, there are disjunctions. Now the process is called as a segregation process. Now this is the stage in meiosis 1 where the chromosomal number reduced to half. In all these cases 2m is equal to 4 up to this metaphase 1. Whereas in anaphase 1 chromosomal number will become reduced to half. So here 2m equals to 4 and n equals to 2. For example, now I would like to take an example here. 10 n is equal to 50. What is of in 10 n? 5 n. Here 5 n, here 5 n. It will come. No more problem. Shall I go for next? Lapran, telophase and cytokinesis. Okay, so that is the completion of meiosis 1. So, I already told in introductory part with an example. For example, 2n is equal to 4, where in meiosis 1, two cells are formed. Each cell is having the chromosomal number reduced to half. Reduced to half. Next, look at the board. Now we are having how many cells? Two cells. Listen carefully. Next, what happened? Meiosis 2 is happened. In meiosis 2, what is the first phase? Same story. What is the first phase? Prophase 2. In prophase 2, what happened? Look at here. How many cells? Two cells. I am talking about the upper cell. This chromatin further it is condensed and formed as a chromosome. Nucleolus disappears, nuclear membrane is dissolved. Now the amount of this chromatin is formed as how many chromosomes? Two. This is the second cell. Listen carefully. Here also the same process. Chromatin is converted into chromosomes. Nuclear membrane, nucleolus is dissolved as well as disappear. Next. After the prophase 2. Next. 
what happened metaphase 2 what is the characteristic of metaphase 2 metaphase 2 you are king why because means you are allowed this chromosomal number sorry if this chromosomes in the center is an of the equatorial plate look at here i am talking about the first cell now these are the uh, spindle fibers these are the spindle fibers chromosomes now this is the spindle fiber one for this cell in lower also one cell is there they also brought up into the center region of the equatorial plate so in metaphase 1 and metaphase 2 what is the difference in metaphase 1 you are observing how many spindle fiber one spindle fiber you are observing how many spindle fibers in metaphase 2 2 they are perpendicular to each other perpendicular to each other means look at here in metaphase 1 now the spindle fiber is like this whereas in the metaphase 2 now the spindle fibers are like this now what is that angle 90 degrees and perpendicular to metaphase 1 next last explanation observe we recall the concept tomorrow once again next what is that phase anaphase What is the general characteristic of anaphase? Here in anaphase one, centromere is not divided. Look at the board. All of you, metaphase two. When enter into anaphase one, what happen means centromere is divided. Centromere is divided. When the centromere is divided, now the chromosomes are pulled towards the opposite poles. That is for one cell. This is for the lower cell. So, what point you have to be remember? Now the blue chart is still spindle fibers. Now. Here n is equals to how many chromosomes? Two. Here n equals to two. Here n equals to two. Here n equals to two. So in anaphase two, what you have to be remember? Our friend here, here centromere is divided and forms how many genomes? Four genomes. Here, how many genomes are formed here? Two genomes only. N equals to two. N equals to two. Okay. Next, after that, what happened? Telophase two. Okay. In telophase two, what happened? Listen carefully. Here, how many daughter chromosomes are present? Four. I am talking about the first n equals to two. Look at the board. These chromosomes is converted into chromatin nucleus and nuclear. This is another set chromosome chromatin conversion. This is the lower set cells chromatin nucleus nuclear membrane. Come and tell me after telophase two, how many cells are present? How many nuclei is there? So we want after completion of meiosis, how many haploid cells? Four. Now this is the cytoplasm one division. Next, what happen means cytokinesis two will be takes place. Now finally, what happened? Four cells are formed. So only the lengthy process and more explanation here it will be takes place. Remaining as usual, so. So, what is the conclusion point in meiosis? 
it is classified into meiosis 1 as well as meiosis 2 now a diploid cell whose that is nothing but 2n is equals to 4 and it forms four haploid cells in the meiosis process so this is the concept i recall that highlights of this meiosis process and tomorrow we will discuss that numerical bits in the mitosis and the meiosis process and what is their differentiation so up to saturday class this is the topic for mitosis and the meiosis so you uh, will observe here here i am writing that the concept 2n is equals to 4 a diploid cell in meiosis process uh, It gives rise to two cells whose chromosomal number reduces to half. This is the meiosis cell one. Next, these two are entered in which one? Meiosis cell two. Once the cell is here, it is divided. Two cells are formed. Here, once the cell is divided, two cells are formed. So, total, how many haploids are formed? Now this is the stage which is equivalent to mitosis process. There is no change in the chromosomal number. Once it is divided, it gives rise to two cells. So I recall the concept once again. Listen carefully. The entire mitosis process is classified into two stages. One is meiosis one process, another one is meiosis two process. After completion of this interface, okay, whenever it is going to be formed as sperms, as ovum, as male gametes, as female gametes, now the meiosis process will be takes place. During the process in the meiosis, sir, one process one is very longest and lengthy and the complex process. Now the interface about of this chromatin in the leptotin stage, it is converted into homologous maternal chromosomes and maternal chromosomes. Lateral between these maternal and paternal chromosomes, attraction forces are developed. Now the process is called as synapsis, and the formal structures are called as bivalent. After that partition stage, there is exchange of chromosomal material in between the non-sistered chromatids. Now the process is called as crossing over process. It is a root cause for the genetic recombination. Means during the process, a father chromosome and mother chromosome cut by restriction endonuclease enzyme. Further, they are united by DNA ligase enzyme, or otherwise they are called recombinase enzymes. Okay. Uh, Lateral diploidin. What happened in the diploidin stage? There will be repulsion is started between these homologous chromosomes. Here the chromosome is visible very clearly. Now, after completion of this diploidin. Now, if you observe here, the X-shaped structure is present. That is called chiasma. In the diploidin stage, in between the homologous chromosomes, synaptical complex is present. That will be dissolved. Only the X-shaped structure is present. Now, that is about the diploidin. Diagenesis is the last stage. Nuclear membrane is dissolved. Nucleus is disappear. Then it will be entered in the metaphase one. In the metaphase one, all these homologous paternal and maternal are brought up into the center region of the epitorial plate by means of the spindle fibers. Later on, that stage is anaphase one. Difference in mitosis, anaphase one centromere is divided. But whereas in the anaphase of meiosis one, centromere is not divided. Their telomeric ends are breaks. Now the chromosomal number reduces to half. 
they pull towards the opposite side. This is the one half prime daughter chromosome set. This is another half prime daughter chromosome set. Here, you know how many genomes are present? Two genomes are present. Now, this is called disjunction process or segregation process. Later on, the keto phase one, these chromatinins, sorry, chromosomes is converted into chromosomes. Sorry, chromosome is converted into chromatin. Chromosome is converted into chromatin. After pedo phase 1, cytokinesis 1 will be happened. Now we are having two cells. In each cell, one nuclei. This is the stage of the meiosis 1. Next, meiosis 2. Two cells you have to be observed in parallel. Don't think one more. They are, they are in one cell. This is one cell, this is another cell. Now this chromatin is converted into chromosome. This chromatin is converted into chromosome. We are having two cells, their own chromosomes. In metaphase 2, they are brought up into the center region of the equatorial plate. Here also they are brought up into the center region of the equatorial plate. How many spindle fibers are present here? Two. Next, what happened in the anaphase? Their centromere is divided. Hence, it is pulling this side, it is pulling this side. Now they are segregated. Now we are having how many daughter chromosome sets here? Four. Not only in anaphase two, this is the genome is converted into chromatin, nucleolus, and nuclear membrane is formed. This is for one, this is for two, this is for three, this is for four. Now who is completed telophase two? After the tutorial phase 2, what happened? Now we are observing how many cells here? Two cells, four nuclei. When cytokinesis 2 is completed, now we will get four cells. Now whose chromosome number reduced to half? So this is the concept. We will discuss that bits tomorrow, day after tomorrow, as well as Saturday. Okay. And wherever the necessary is there, once again we call that concept. So today I will post the mitosis and the meiosis on which stage, how many chromatids are present as an example in a GIA maze. Begin the starting MC with the molecular.